Friends, welcome to my workplace for hands-on FACO and SICH training. This is a soft cataract with small papal. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now a side boot is to be made. Phenocaine has been applied. This is the side port by the keratome itself. Almost half of the keratome has been introduced to get the side port. An air bubble is injected and tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. This is adrenaline, but in this case, adrenaline could not dilate the people. The dye is washed out. And then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill up the anterior chamber. Some amount of visco is applied underneath the iris to get some room for the pupil expansion device that we are going to use in this case. And the people expansion device is BHEX invented by Dr. Suven Bhattacharji of Kolkata, India. This is a uniplanar device without any joint, very flexible, very thin, versatile, can be used in shallow anterior chamber. No injector system is required, but we need this one. This is a BHEX forceps. Two flanges have been tucked through the main wound itself and through the left side port the other flange is tucked under the iris. So just by two incisions on main wound another side port we have applied this pupil expansion device. Now capsulorexis is being done with the help of this uterita forceps. Size of the expanded pupil is about 5.5 millimeter and we are getting a rexis of about 5.25 millimeter and this is an adequate size rexis. Hydro dissection is done using 27 gauss cannula and BSS and the nucleus is mobilized. Some more visco and now a pre-chopper is being used for division of the nucleus into fragments. Here goes Dr. Suhail Khan's pre-chopper. The nucleus has been divided into three fragments and now it will be very easy to manage the nucleus. The sustainer itself is being used as chopper. The feconeedle goes in. The nucleus is mobilized and I try to get on piece, but see even getting this divided piece is becoming tricky, but ultimately it comes and easily emulsified with very low ultrasonic energy. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is about 30%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and all the fragments are easily emulsified. Since the nucleus was 
or was pre-chopped very easily it has been emulsified. Try to remove some cortex by the fake on needle itself but I could not. Injected visco and now I am going to use this 23 gauze simco for a removal of the cortex. So, cortex from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock and then on o'clock, 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock are removed. From 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, this cortex is not removed. I am using the bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the cortex. The anterior wall of the main wound is lifted up and the anterior chamber is well maintained. And now, the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The main wound is enlarged little bit so that we get an wound of about 3 millimeter and then a uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. And now the lens is dialed to orient the haptics at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock so that easily I can go behind the nucleus. Now see removal of B hex it is so easy by the B hex forceps and see this people is round there is no sphincter damage and only two wounds a side port and the main wound. Visco from capsular bag as well as anterior chamber is removed first with this instrument this is a 23 gauze simco. Some cortex was also removed from 5.30 o'clock and now I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli for removal of the BHEX. Go behind the intraocular lens again and irrigate the capsular bag. And now I use irrigation and aspiration for some time and all the viscoelastic substance that has been used is removed. So, this much time should be devoted for removal of visco. This is moxifloxacin. Then the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. I always do this and I think incidences of TAS is almost nil in my practice because of this final lavage of the anterior chamber. Integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of moxies applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.